If you want to make a change, acknowledge what was, make an effort to be different, and follow through with those efforts. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. This is part two of a four-part series where I'm focusing on beautiful, black-owned, magical hair care companies. And it's part of an overall um, arching subset that I want to create for my channel called Black Owned Magic. So um, first video that you saw focused on 14 amazing black owned hair care brands and I'm gonna give you 14 more. So um, just as a quick recap, all of this information I found was from an amazing resource that is called Official Black Wall Street. It started as a website and evolved into an app that has over 5,000 um, businesses and it's consistently updating and it's such an incredible resource. I'm gonna have the links for everything and all of the companies listed below so you can check out their socials or the websites if you're interested in the products and you know, let's get into it. I come prepared. <laughs> so number 15, the first brand, it is called Etenio. Pure Nature Advanced Science. It was created by Antoinette Davis. It's an eco-luxury line of personal care products for the entire family. Um, it's a Jamaican brand with the Jamaican motto, out of many, one people. And it focuses on hair and skin. And you know, it's interesting that it's for the whole family, so they definitely make sure that this could be used on your children as well as on adult hair. And number 16, it's Ever Butter, and it was created by Canberra Owens. I wasn't really able to find any more information, but nonetheless, I'm still gonna include um, the information that was available from the website. Number 17 is Evolving Textures. It was founded in 2014 by an inventor. Uh, the individual behind this is Nadra Smiley Martin, who has been in the hair industry for an incredibly long time. She actually created a tool to assist with hair. It is called Allie the Hair Assistant for braiding and weaving. And she has won awards and numerous magazines for her Evolving Textures line. Uh, the next line, it is called Free Beauty, and it is created by Selena M. Um, I wasn't really able to find any more information on it, but nonetheless, I'm still going to include um, the information below. Next one, it's called a play on beautiful, but it's called Hutiful, started in 2012 by Ken Burkeen. Um, and what is written as a line of this brand is women of many hues from all around the world deserve simple solutions to achieve healthy, beautiful hair. Simple and to the point and very well said. Next line is Hydrotherma Naturals. It was created by Salima Cartwright, who is a licensed cosmetologist as well as a registered Bachelor of Science nurse. The focus of this brand is balancing moisture and protein levels. The next line is called Inashi Naturals. It was started in 2001 by Rhonda Marshall. She's a chemist, an educator, and naturalista. And the motto of the brand is loving the you that you were born with, which is such an amazing and important phrase. Oh, you know, yes, people can change themselves surgically and alter in different ways, but at the end of the day, you gotta love what's inside. It's not just exterior. So I definitely love the line of this brand. And what's interesting is on her website, she had a part that indicates all the ingredients that are used in her products. And it's just such an amazing lineup of ingredients. I'm gonna read them for you. Shea butter, rosemary oil, cocoa butter, avocado oil, hemp oil, aloe vera, palm oil, nettle extract, panthenol, peppermint oil, hibiscus, castor oil, horsetail extract, tea tree oil, lavender oil, coconut oil, marshmallow root extract, ling ling, and hyaluronic acid. Wow, what an incredible lineup of ingredients. Who wouldn't want to put that in their hair? Next one is Jane Carter Solution. It was started in 1992. It was born in the salon by Jane Carter, who is a professional hairstylist and formulator of the brand. It's an award-winning, vegan-friendly, and it is providing support for all hair types and textures. Next line is Karen's Body Beautiful. 
It started in 2004. It's a hair and skincare line by Karen Tappan. She is the CEO and beauty boss of this brand. What's amazing is the growth of its brand. It started at home, as most um, entrepreneurial exploits are. It started at home, then it evolved into a store, um, and then it, it evolved into an 8,000 square foot manufacturing factory. So talk about an incredible growth for this brand. Um, the next brand, it is called Caravita. It was started in 2012 by Dimitrion Dewar. He is the founder and CEO. Its company um, line is that it is for educated, smart, hardworking, natural haired, independent women of the new millennium which is very interesting. It is safe, healthy, natural, and freshly indulgent hair care. Next line is Kinky Curly, started in 2003 by Shelly Davis. Uh, she's from St. Vincent in the Grenadines, the islands, and from there is where she learned the value of herbs and plant ingredients. She is a signer of the Compact for Safe Cosmetics, which means in her products there is no petroleum, mineral oil, silicone, carbomer, plastics, acrylics, no alcohol, no wax, and paraben-free. Also, she donates to charity from her line for clean water, which is truly amazing, and some Quotes from her line and what she stands for, she wants you to truly love your hair and achieve the healthiest hair. And something that I personally like is on her website, she has really great styling tips um, for how to use her products on your hair. The next line is Coils by Nature. It was started in 2009 by Pamela J. Booker. She has a Bachelor of Science, she's an engineer, and she was an Army veteran. Um, the line, its kind of basis and consistency is of quality. It's certified vegan, cruelty-free, organic essential oils, finest ingredients. She donates a portion of sales. Their mail line has become the number one mail growing line in the nation as well. Coils by Nature. Next line, 27, is Creole Essence, started by Yves Carr Montperus, as well as her husband. It's a Haitian-based line. What's actually amazing is that it ended up on Shark Tank, and they were able to strike a deal with Kevin O'Leary. Um, the main part of this brand is Haitian black castor oil. Everyone is familiar with the Jamaican black castor oil, but for her, this line is Haitian, which is who she is and where she's from. And what's great is it is sustainably harvested by 300 farmers. She provides jobs to all of these peoples. 90% of the staff within the company itself are women. Her goal with the growth of this company is to help 30,000 families in Haiti with employment, education, and health care. And you know, I did research, amazing brand, and only wish her the best of growth. And the next brand is Curly Bell. It was started in 2010 by Taranique Pennerman. And she was inspired by recipes from the islands of the Bahamas. Um, she wrote on her website that she kind of grew up working out recipes with her moms and that it's just kind of amazing the whole maternal aspect of this where it's generations of Bahamian women, mothers and daughters that pass along these amazing recipes uh, involving aloe vera, coconut, banana, hibiscus. Um, it's an eco-friendly brand and unfortunately she lost her mom at a very young age. Um, but a quote that her mom always said that kind of helps drive the brand is a woman should always look her best. And that's kind of been a focus for this brand. So that is part two. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and tap the bell and I'll continue to make more black owned magic videos. Be on the lookout for part three and part four. And I look forward to continuing with this series and uh, posting whatever I find that I think is great and will put out there so more people can learn. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.